Welcome to I've Had Worse and today I'm trying King Goblin. Um, this is a Witchywood beer. Uh, I don't know, the big brother of Hobgoblin Gold. Um, never had this one. So it says that it's an Imperial uh, Ruby beer, 6.6. .6. But I always thought Imperial beers were a little bit higher than that. Um, and that the high alcohol strength was to, you know, transport them overseas. Waffling, let's get this open. Okay, so I have no idea. So, Witchywood uh, is owned by Marsden, or the uh, Wolverhampton and Dudley Brewing Company, as it used to be called. And I just, I want to bring that back. That's what I want to do. Stop calling it Marsden. Wolverhampton and Dudley Brewing Company. So, what do we have here? Right, so we have a dark ruby. <laughs> Not dark toffee. <laughs> toffee is my new word. Toffee is my new descriptive word. So it could be bonfire toffee. Let's go with that one. It's a dark bonfire toffee ruby uh, <laughs> beer, light carbonation, creamy head, bit of lacing on the glass. Fruity aroma, real sort of. Mm. So it is malty, but mainly sort of fruit, like a Christmas cake or Dundee cake, which is my other descriptive word. Other other cakes are available. There's a little bit of banana be there. That sort of esters. Okay. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Thick mouthfeel. But not much of a bitterness. I was expecting much more of a bitter a bitterness than that. So there is a bitterness there, but it's a very light bitterness doesn't hang around and you're left with that sort of sort of fruity mouthfeel but like a um, imagine uh, Eagle Brewery banana bread beer and then sort of tone that down and the flavour's not linging around that much Now, I have just tried Fuller's 1845. 1845, 1846? I've just tried a Fuller's beer. My last video, skip back one. I'll put a link. Um, and that flavour hung around and sort of coated the palate um, and it sort of drew you in and you, you were left wanting, you know, uh, wanting more. This is a really pleasant flavour, but isn't really hanging around. No, it did. It, it really. It, I mean, it is really nice to drink, um, but I would want it to hang around to give it that extra Moorish quality. And now there's virtually nothing. Okay. Hmm. There's no te no um, no sense of the strength as well. You wouldn't know this is a six point six um, at all. Okay, so can I recommend this one? This is not for which you would. This is not bad, um, and they used to be one of my favourite breweries, but. Um, I sort of fell out of love with them when I had their Diceman Stout, um, which was um, not good in my opinion. I didn't like get like it at all. Um, but on the whole, I find them a, you know, a pretty decent brewery. Um, and again, oh, I just wish this one had. And I don't know what it is. This is a decent beer. Um, if you've not tried it, give it a go. 
Um, but it just doesn't have that Moorish quality to it. It's not got me, you know, going back uh, like the Fullers did and like the Shepherd and Neem um, uh, India Pale Ale, which I've just done. Um, again, they just you wanted to keep going back, um, but this doesn't have that it. Um, but saying that, this is a half decent beer. I can, uh, you know, give this one a go. Okay, so there you go, King Goblin. Half decent beer. Cheers.